Hey three commas traders, my name's Jared and I'm a three commas representative. Today, I'll be going over the smart trade section to help you understand how it works and how to make your very own smart trade. In this video, we'll review how to make a short trade on a bearish market. If you're trying to make a long trade, we did place a link in our video description on how to do that. We've made some significant updates to our smart trade section and its tools and thought it would be a great idea to review this section in detail. Without further delay, let's get right into this. First off, to get to the smart trade section, all you got to do is go to the left side and click on smart trade. The smart trade section is designed to help you plan to buy and sell at the same time so you don't have to watch the market all day. You can set up a stop loss and multiple take profit conditions at the same time even before the coin is purchased. You're also able to use the provided chart from TradingView to do some technical analysis to help you make the most out of your trading experience here on 3 Commas. If you'd like to learn more about how to use the TradingView chart, I have provided sources in the video's description along with a link to our previous video going over the smart trade section and how to make a long trade. In this video, I'm going to be going over the smart cover section and the smart buy section. Up here, we're going to be able to select the exchange, the market, and the trading pair we'd like to work with. So for the market, we want to select USDT and Bitcoin for this example. The smart cover section will allow you to sell funds you already have, such as Bitcoin, Doge, and Ethereum. When the tokens are sold, it will wait till the value of the token depreciates to the set percentage you place. When this is hit, it will repurchase the tokens, allowing you to earn more of the specified token from the trade, all without you having to sell and purchase the tokens yourself manually. The Smart Buy section will allow you to do the same thing, except you will already have the sold tokens for the quote currency, in this case USDT. You will need to fill out the price you sold the tokens for manually in order to continue here. If you sold the tokens for, let's say, 2900 you would enter 2900 right here. When the market drops to the set percent you choose, it will purchase the tokens that you sold back, earning you more of the token you're trying to purchase than if you made a market order. Now that we explained these sections a bit, let's create an example. The first section here will be the amount of units you'd like to sell in the trade. So for this, let's go ahead and type 0.1 Bitcoin. The next step would be setting the sell price. So you can select a limit, a market, or a conditional order. A limit order will be executed only at the set price you enter here. A market order will be executed automatically, instantly and a conditional order will be executed as a market order or a limit order when the bid price or ask price hits the set amount that you enter. For this example, we're going to choose the conditional option and select the conditional market order. So this will sell off the tokens at 2,900 as a conditional market order. The total would affect the unit section as it would be the same option just in the quote currency instead. In this case, it's in USDT. The trailing sell option will use the same algorithm as trailing take profit. I have put an article in the description if you'd like to learn more about how that would work. In short, it will try to sell coins as high as possible. Moving on to the take profit section, we're going to go ahead and click set take profit. Once we do that, we'll be welcomed with the take profit options. So we're going to go ahead and select limit order and let's say we want this to take profit at 5%. So once the deal drops 5%, it will purchase back the tokens that I sold for 2900 over here. We can see the approximate profit down here, which will give us a approximate value of what we will make, which in this case will be 145 USDT. Now that we did that, let's say we don't want to have a stop loss for this trade. So we're going to go ahead and click create trade. We're going to click confirm. And then there we are. The trade is currently made. If we go to our active section, we can see that it is currently made and it is waiting to sell the tokens at the set price we put, aka 2900. It will also take profits at 2750. If we want to see more information, we can click this arrow and it will share more info with us. It will show the price that the pair is currently at, the volume that you're using, the status of the deal, and the actions taken once there are some. If you'd like to learn how to make a stop loss, please check out the video in the description on how to make a long smart trade. 
That's going to wrap up this episode on short trades with the smart trades section. If you have any questions or concerns, our support team is always available and can be found on our website. You can find more sources in the video's description such as helpful articles and our other videos. Thanks so much for watching and learning with us, and as always, happy trading.